Alright everyone, so this is Kitsy one and he is a sightseeing and radio controlled balancing robot. Uh, this is just some basic general information about him. Uh, inside his front is where the brain is. It's a Pro Mini, 5 volt. Uh, you got a 6050 gyro right down here. Now, up in his head, we have, of course, the electronics for the distance sonic sensing, but we also have the six channel radio that will be telling so you can use a radio controller to control him. Now, this is the controller to tactic uh, TTX 600. Now, the thing about the tactics is you don't have to go through a lot to change radios. Uh, I've got a couple of six channels and a three channel and a four channel. And I started off with a three channel. Uh, one channel was for forward and backward, not one left and right. And then the third channel I was going to use for speed. So you could, uh, you know, turn the speed up a little bit more or turn it down, kind of like on a helicopter in a way. Uh, but I decided to go with the six channel. Now with the six channel I can uh, do more. I can say lock one tire or... Uh, on the radio, it's got an arming switch for my quad. This one right here. So I flip that switch, and then it arms the quad. The motors will turn. And flip it back, and it unarms the quad. Uh, so I'm going to set that up so that you can flip the switch, and QT1 will activate with the radio controlled. And if you shut it off, uh, the radio control off, you, he will go back to automated mode, which is just standing there basically, and... Uh, doing whatever program you want to upload to them uh, on the back So that radio just to continue with that while I'm doing this a radio you can do all kinds of things with All right Get on there damn it. All right now on the back on the side here a little reset switch So that and they don't have to get inside with the uh, USB serial uh, adapter they have there's no DTR button on it, so you just, to upload, you just have to reset the board when it gets to a certain point, and that's what it'll do. Now, this port here is for the LiPo charger, right here. So, it'll just basically plug in. Now, with this LiPo charger, I had to be sure that uh, the signals are changed. So, up here, there's on, off, and charge. So if you flip it to charge, this is hooked directly to the batteries. Uh, now for batteries, we're using two of the uh, 18650s. 3.7 volts out of laptop. Great batteries, by the way. Just awesome batteries for this kind of project. So, you can go on, off, and charge right there. And inside of his back, let me get him open. There is the L9110, I believe it is the H-Bridge module. Alright, it's a double H-Bridge. Doesn't really need a heat sink. I don't know why everyone gets those ones with the great big gaudy heat sinks on them. You don't need it for something like this. Most of the time you don't need something that big. Uh, look down here. Got a 5 volt um, right voltage regulator. Now uh, there's a little yellow LED on the voltage regulator. Let me go ahead and put a couple of these in. And I'll show you that real quick. Because that's everything's nothing's wired right now, but I can show you. Initially turn it on. Uh oh. What the fuck? One, two, three. Power comes in. Yeah, well, something's screwing up. Unless my batteries are dead. It might be what it is. Batteries may be dead. Huh. Well, but anyway, so charge, I can charge them, I guess, now. But that is the basic rundown for QC1 5 volt regulator. Right here. Dual H bridge, 7.4 volt battery supply, off on charge, 
Battery jack. Reset switch. Dyro down at the bottom. Mini Pro. Six channel radio control. Sonic distance sensor. Now those are pretty much everything that'll fit on that Pro Mini. So next video I post will be a basic. It's a live post and show you the serial monitor systems uh, and how the programming is going to start for him. Thanks for watching.